Thank you for checking us out on Indiegogo. I'm Alan Lacey, and for the last three years, I have been working extremely hard at putting this film together. Earlier this year, Dean Cannon and I spent 14 days in the Mexican Wolf Recovery Area, starting the story of the Mexican Wolf. And we got some pretty amazing footage that I just, I can't wait to show you. In fact, I'll probably, actually I'll show you a little bit here in just a second. Young Mexican wolf pups in a den, truly amazing. Um, we've got some incredible footage of that, as well as some other amazing uh, interviews with some people who are directly involved with the Mexican Wolf Repro uh, Recovery Program. We need to get back there this summer to continue filming this incredible story. We need your support, however. All the expenses add up extremely quickly, such as airfare, travel, food, lodging, rental equipment, and the gear and everything, accessories that go into making this film possible. It's going to require $25,000 to get into Arizona and New Mexico to make this film shoot happen. Ideally, we'd love to be able to raise a lot more than that so we can actually complete this film going into 2015. We'd love to hire editors, sound designers, um, color correctionists to make this film really stand out. It's going to take your support. It's going to take a pack to make this film a reality. So take a look at our different perks along the side of our campaign. Find one that fits you the best, whether it's a dollar or whether it's $5,000. It all helps. Every little bit matters. Please become a voice for the Lobo and support our campaign. Share with your friends and your family. Like us on Facebook. And let's make this film a reality. Not for us, but for the wolves. The more we can generate awareness for this species, the more likely the recovery of this species will be in the future. For centuries, Mexican wolves inhabited the landscapes of Mexico and the American Southwest. But they were pushed to the very brink of extinction. Recent reintroduction efforts have proven hopeful. But what does recovery mean for the wolf? It's difficult to imagine a more controversial issue than wolf recovery, you know. On one hand, you've got ranchers trying to maintain a peaceful way of living on the landscape. And on the other hand, you have very passionate, dedicated conservationists who want to restore balance to nature. Um, unfortunately, those values collide over the wolf program. When I first came here eight years ago, the wolves were more or less an incidental thing. The problem has increased over the past three years especially. This past year has been by far the worst. You know, we've lost uh, six confirmed, two probables, and then the other two unconfirmed losses since the middle of January. It's beyond an occasional loss, though. So. The first time we saw wolves where we really got a look at them was in 2000, late October. We were camped, fixing breakfast, and looked over about 150 yards away and under some trees were seven wolves, the whole Francisco pack. When they got to the other side, I, you know, I said, okay, I can, I can go now, I'm done. I can die if I have to because I've seen them, they're really back. That's when I believed that there was a chance that this species might be recovered. We're concerned with monitoring the wild population and make sure that they're able to, to be self-sustaining. Right now we have 100% wild wolves on the ground. They're able to reproduce, survive on their own. These are big measures of success for this project. You know, the wolf I don't think is a particularly majestic creature, nor is it a particularly vile monster. It's just another creature out there on the landscape. Um, if wolves just ate grass and, and, and we just coexisted side by side, it'd be fantastic. Well, of course, wolves have always been a part of the ecosystem, and ecosystems are quite complex, and they are sort of stacked in layers, you might say, called trophic levels. The theory is that uh, the predators keep the uh, herbivores in check, that is the plant eaters, and that uh, minimizes the uh, pressure of the plant eaters on the plant community, allows for more diversity in all levels of the uh, layers of the ecosystem. 
know, Mexican wolves are one of the rarest and most genetically imperiled land mammals in the world. So, but we want recovery to be more than just a symbolic reinstatement of a few heavily managed wolves on the landscape. We really want wolves to be integrated back onto the land and, and managed just like mountain lions or bears or any other form of wildlife. The biggest challenges for this population right now, the size of the boundary, because we're getting so many wolves inside of the recovery area right now that if younger wolves choose to leave, then we have to either bring them back into the population or recovery area or send them to captivity. Some of the biggest frustration is not with the wolf itself, but for what the wolf now stands for. How far do we have to expand the territory on the concept of preserving a species? Uh, how far does it have to go? There are competing visions for the future of the West. And what traditional ranchers see as the future is very different than what conservationists and conservation biologists see. Mexican wolves are kind of trapped between those competing visions. <laughs>